while we're obviously talking about these cold temperatures, but what's the start of the work week going to look like? It looks good. What you didn't see in that video, folks, was snow, but they're certainly getting snow in a lot of other locations across the country. This is a live picture right now of the town outside of Western Port, Maryland, and you can see the big winter storm to the east of us has dropped a ton of snow across the area. This is a large downgrade here, so not a lot of cars going down this steep hill with probably around a foot of snow on the ground. Meanwhile, in Fayetteville, it is nice and quiet. You probably can still see the camera shaking just a little bit because we still do have some breezy conditions out there. You got to 42 degrees today in Fayetteville, about six degrees below the average of 48. Meanwhile, in Fort Smith, we've been watching this flag blow all day and it continues to blow with those gusty winds out there. You got up to 49, just a handful of degrees below that average of 52. Temperatures right now are still cold in the uh, mid 30s uh, for Northwest Arkansas, right around 40 degrees for the River Valley. This is the storm that we're talking about, dropping all that snow and severe weather here. It's still impacting our weather with cloud cover and those gusty winds because you have a pressure gradient between this area of low pressure and this area of high pressure kind of squeezing the atmosphere. And that's what's making those winds uh, remain gusty out there. But this low will continue to pull away. And as it does, it will make our weather it will start to improve less cloud cover for tomorrow and less winds. You can see that by tomorrow morning, uh, partly cloudy skies and then by tomorrow afternoon, just about everybody seeing mostly sunny skies. If you are traveling, call ahead because feet of snow is expected along the I-95 corridor. So if you have flight plans to fly out of X and A, like I said, call ahead. We'll fall into the upper 20s to right around 30 tonight. We'll rebound into the 40s and lower 50s for tomorrow. Here's your extended forecast. Notice those temperatures starting to head northward as we go through the early to middle part of the upcoming week, uh, peaking on Thursday with a high of 57. Then we'll have a system roll through that'll turn our, our temperatures back around into the 40s and then 30s. And we are still watching for the chances for quite a cool down on the way for next weekend. But you can see there Wednesday and Thursday, Jamie, temperatures in the 60s in the River Valley. So enjoy it now because changes are coming. Well, you know, Robert, it sounds like it's the perfect weather to stay inside to watch the Super Bowl, which is next Sunday. Crazy to yeah. believe. And I've been thinking a lot about it. I've decided I'm going to root for the Kansas City Chiefs. You know, I'd love to see Mahomes win another ring. So, Robert, Jordan, got to ask you both, what teams are you rooting for this year? Well, I'm rooting for the uh, Buccaneers because I'm a huge Tom Brady fan from my fantasy football days. So I'll, I think, <laughs> never bet against Brady in a Super Bowl. I wish we still had fantasy football. I'm kind of missing it, but Jamie, I'm going with you. I'm going with the Chiefs. I think it'd be cool to see Tampa Bay win at home, but um, I want to see a back-to-back -back Super Bowl victory, and I think the Chiefs have the team to do that. We're actually going to talk about the upcoming contest coming up next in Sports Plus, the Arkansas women. Two in a row, winners after today's game. We'll be right back with sports after the break.